Hi there, sixth grade horn players. This is a recording of Miss Westall playing Island Paradise on the horn. Um, this video, I'm going to just break Island Paradise down into the little tiny chunks and play through the rhythms just to make sure you feel good about them. Remember, we started working on this song before we unfortunately had our lovely break and from school. So um, most of this stuff is familiar. I just want to review it before I um, post another recording of me playing basically the whole song that you can play along with. So. Island Paradise, first thing we gotta check is that key signature. You're gonna notice there are no flats at the beginning of the lines of this um, song, so no key signature. That means if you have a B, it's gotta be middle. Now, here's the cool news. You don't have any Bs in this song, okay? So you don't have to worry about it. That's the good news, okay? As I go through this, by the way, I'm going to play the, um, the bottom notes um, just because uh, they're actually more interesting. So they move around a little bit more. So it makes it a little more fun to play if you're playing the lower notes when it divides out, like in measure 14, okay? Now, 4-4, um, four, four, four beats in a measure, life is good there. We do have some repeat things. I'll talk you through that in the next video. The only other thing that I wanna check, out, check on before um, I work on little chunks here is if you notice, guys, there's a lot of repeated stuff. Like if you look at measure five, you'll see you have some Gs and an A. If you look at measure 55, guess what? Same thing. There's a lot of repeated stuff. So first thing I want to try is that very first measure you have, okay? Plus one note, okay? This is that on Mount Pleasant, okay? Plus one note. But what we're going to do is we're going to tie that the second and third note. So instead of bum, 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 it's going to be one and four, one, okay? Because we have the first note is on beat one. The second note happens on the and because it's that eighth note it has that tail and the note before it had the dot, okay? So that's the one and the last note in that measure is beat four. That's why I didn't get to say two, I don't get to say three. It's one and four, one, okay? That's the main rhythm you need in this song. So I'm gonna play that first two measures a couple times just to practice that. Let me fish out my first note. So here it is, one, Two first two measures. There it is. Let's try that again. One, two first two measures. Now let's try measure three and measure four. This is the other pattern that happens, just a different notes, same rhythm though. Run two measure three and four. So that's pretty much most of this song. Okay, there are other things, but that's the majority of it. I'm going to do measure one through four once, just to put that together. One and two, ready? Two, three, four. So, that's kind of that rhythm we need for a lot of this song. The other part that's a little different is measure 14. You have that at 14, you have that at 15, 16, 17. Measure 18, it happens again. It's this quarter with an eighth, eighth rest. So it's one and three, four. So measure 14, look at it one more time. It's one and three, four, okay? I'm gonna play that measure a couple times. Here again, I'm gonna play the lower notes just because I think they're more interesting um, and knowing how like um, some of you guys like lower notes better, I think that it, it, it'll fit better, okay? So here's the lower notes. Here's measure 14 plus the note at 15. <laughs> So try that one more time. One, two, fourteen. Okay, that rhythm you're going to have again at the end of that line. You have that rhythm again at measure twenty-one. I'm going to try that one. So here it's just different, diff, uh, same kind of rhythm, just different notes. Okay. The other thing is, is they tie those two, the the second and third note together. So it's F. A, G, G. One, and four, one. Try that one. One, two, measure 21. Ready on the F? I'll try that one more time. Here's measure 21. Ready? Cool. The only other rhythm that's a little funky is down at 39, you have this pattern. And what's cool is if you listen to the recording, the trumpets and baritones have this rhythm first at 31. So you literally get to hear it all the way through and then you guys join in, actually so does the whole rest of the band. Here's this rhythm at 39, you have a one note, a C. Bum, ba-da-dum, bum, 
bum, ba dum. Okay, it definitely has that Latin sound to it. So it's one and three and 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 three. Do you notice a lot of those are ands? The reason they're ands is you have that eighth rest, the thing that looks kind of like a number seven, followed by an eighth note. So I don't get to say one. It's not on the B. It's on that and. What well, it used to be one and two and. We just got rid of the numbers, and it's and 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 and. Okay. I'm gonna play them 39 and 40. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. My low C didn't want to come out. Here it is again. 39 and 40. Ready? So if you do 39 and 40, you have the other half of that kind of chunk of, of the song. And we have the D, D, G, 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 E, D, C. So it's one, two, and, and, and one, two, three. Here's that part starting on the D. I'm going to do that again. Same two measures. Ready? On the D. One more time, those two measures. D, ready to go. Alright, cool. So that's the majority of this song. I'll post a separate video of me basically playing the song all the way through, but this is a good place to, st to start making sure you hear how those rhythms all go. Then the next video, we'll take all those rhythms and push them all together and make the actual song. So, happy practicing, guys.